So we're here at the University of Virginia in a beautiful little secluded garden talking with, or about to talk with, or two, Jeremy DeBell. And Jeremy, who are you? I'm Jeremy DeBell. I'm the Director of Communications and Outreach at Rare Book School, located here at UVA. And the obvious question is, and the, the main question is, why should the literary tourist attend Rare Book School? Rare Book School is a place where we, we bring together people from all across the, the biblio world. So uh, academics and librarians, curators and collectors, bookbinders, booksellers, uh, anybody interested with books, in, in books and, and what they are and what they mean. Uh, can come to Rare Book School and take a class with, with like-minded folks. And so tell us about those classes, like what, what are some typical examples? So we have uh, five-day intensive courses, it's about 30 hours over the course of five days where you're um, learning from a faculty member who's come from around the world to teach the course. Usually they tend to be the person who wrote the book on the subject. So um, Jan Storm van Leeuwen teaches our introduction to the history of book bindings. He's the retired keeper of bindings at the Royal Library in the Netherlands. Um, we have uh, Tim Barrett from the University of Iowa, co-teaches our papermaking course. Uh, a MacArthur Fellow from a few years ago who, who does wonderful work with early paper and, and all paper of all kinds. Um, Michael Suarez, our director, teaches a course on teaching the history of the book, um, which is useful for anybody who has to has to teach uh, this sort of thing. Sure. Um, so academics yeah. would obviously be here, but, but what about us? Yeah. yeah. What yeah. about us, yeah. us uh, literary uh, tourists, You know, book all of our the vast majority of our classes are going to be of interest to anybody interested in books. So okay. we have we have everything from a survey course called the History of the Book 200 to 2000, which is taught by uh, a, a, the the head of Rare Books at the Library of Congress, the chief of Rare Books and a curator at Georgetown, um, which, which gives you a, an overview of books from the beginning to, to now. Um, we have courses on typography and printing, where you, you print a broadside as your, as your class project, um, which is great fun so for, hands for on, anybody. Hands on, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, part of the reason, part of what we do at Rare Book School is we want to put your nose in the books. We want you to get a sense of them. You're not just going to sit and listen to lectures. You're going to be handling books. You're going to be you know, pulling a printing press. You're going to be um, making paper. Uh, seeing how it worked and seeing how it all came together. Okay, so what does that do for you though? I mean, if uh, again, I'm and, and typically a literary tourist is going to be a book buyer sure. uh, and maybe not quite so typically, but certainly a lot of us are going to love collecting books. Sure. Yeah. So how will this help us in our quest to track down the books that, that we want to collect sure. and, well, the and more own. You, the more you know, right? Um, yeah. You know, if you if you get a sense of what a binding looks like, um, or what a what a binding should look like, um, you'll have you'll know more about what you're doing. If you know how to describe the books that you're that you're collecting that you want to buy, you'll know better how to talk to booksellers. You'll know better how to talk to librarians um, about what you're looking for, and and be able to find books that you that you really want, um, and be able to better understand the books that you have in your collections or that you want to have. In your collections, um, a lot of book collectors come to Rare Book School to to get a better understanding of of what they have and what they like, and to understand how those books got put together in the in the beginning. Well, I think the neat thing too is that the more that you know about your particular area of collecting, the more you'll be able to to uh, perhaps cut the cut the uh, what not the cloth but <laughs> cut 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 the grain against the grain sure, yeah. so that you can see things that others That's might not see value in and therefore get a good get a good absolutely deal absolutely right absolutely right yeah no it's true um, you, you know you the, again goes back to the more you know and you know if you can you can uh, you have a better sense of these things than the next guy you're in, you're in good shape so what about uh, getting here, and then tell us a bit about, about the, you know, the actual logistics. Sure. Um, so we have a, an admissions process. It's competitive admissions at this point. You apply for a course. Um, the faculty members uh, put together a course based on want to have a good range of people. So you're going to want to have in your class a, a mixture of. Uh, people from different fields, a mixture of different skill levels. Mm -hmm. um, so not only each course is going to have that, but all five courses over the course of a week in Charlottesville are going to have that too. So we want to have a group, a community come together that brings different people in, into the same room and gets them talking to each other and bringing different perspectives into the class and the, and so, the Rare Book School community. And so when does this take place? Mostly in courses in Charlottesville are in June and July. Um, we have courses around the country at different times. So in October this year, we have courses in New York. Uh, December this year, we're looking at courses in Boston, a couple. Um, 
in, in May, coming up in a couple of weeks, we'll have a course in Bloomington, Indiana. Um, but by and large, our courses are in Charlottesville in June and July. And where is Charlottesville? Charlottesville is located in the middle of Virginia, about two hours uh, away from D.C. Um, you can get here easily on the Amtrak train. Um, a number of trains come through each day. Um, easy to get here on, on plane as well, but Amtrak tends to be the, the fastest where you can drive, of course. But. And uh, finally, how do we get more information? Rarebookschool.org um, will give you all you have. We've just launched a new website. And I hope you like it, and, uh, and come check us out. Thanks a lot, Jeremy. Yeah, my pleasure.